Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered what triggers an avalanche? First of all, shouting loudly will not trigger an avalanche, despite what you might have seen in the movies. Even a sonic boom or a low-flying helicopter right next to a mountain will only trigger an avalanche in very unstable conditions, in which case a natural avalanche is likely to occur anyway. The high-risk slopes are between 35 and 45 degrees. Snow on slopes less than 30 degrees can gain a safe purchase, and snow on slopes more than 50 degrees will just run downhill before it can even form a dangerous slab. Avalanches usually occur when a weak layer of snow deep beneath the main slab fractures, and this usually happens because of a rapid increase in weight. This could be a huge amount of snow falling in a short time, or a person walking on it. One of the biggest causes is wind. It erodes snow in some areas and deposits it in others. As a result, wind can deposit snow ten times faster than a snowstorm, faster than a buried weak layer can adjust, resulting in an avalanche. These weak layers form in different ways. Some snowflakes are flat and icy and don't bind together very well, and this can quickly create a weak, slippery layer of snow. Rain or snow melt can also create a weak layer. As it flows through the snowpack, it melts the ice crystals which bind the slab together. Before long, it becomes weak and what is termed a wet avalanche forms. This type of avalanche travels at about 20 miles per hour, but your typical dry slab avalanche, which is created by heavy snowfall and high winds, can travel between 60 to 80 miles per hour, which is much faster than most skiers or snowboarders could move out of the way. But the avalanche has another deadly element, its saltation layer, which can boost its speed and power. Large snow grains bounce around within the avalanche, collecting new snow from the mountainside, increasing its volume and adding to its momentum, taking the avalanche further down the slope and, in some cases, can even flatten villages. For more thought-provoking science from the natural world, don't forget to subscribe to Earth Unplugged and I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered how to catch a meteor? Meteoroids enter the Earth's atmosphere at between 11 and 72 kilometers per second.